IST 816 Web Fundamentals e-commerce website. My mock business is an antique business that focuses on restoration, appraising, and buying and selling merchandise. My homepage, I looked at more of a visual representation. My belief is that anyone visiting a antique page would not want to explore the site, so it's generally an overview uh, pictorially of what we offer. Uh, and it also includes at the bottom our team members and just a little representation of uh, the services we're going to explore in, inside the website. I also uh, added uh, social media uh, links. Optimally, they would be representative of our business, but I did uh, show that I did them correctly. So we'll click on the Instagram link. And that will take us to uh, the Antique Roadshow's uh, Instagram page. And then uh, let's go back to the website and explore further. So we go up to the menu, and now we go to the services page. In a real business website, I would have a summary of our uh, business. I added a few YouTube videos that showed... Uh, restoration and then uh, appraising. Uh, in my business I would probably have a picture of my actual business and maybe some videos pertaining to what we do. At the bottom I have the summary of our team members and what they focus focused on and their qualifications within the uh, website. So you can see that my appraiser has uh, experience with Sotheby's, Christie's, uh, and then so on and so forth with the other people. Next, we go to the marketplace where you can actually purchase some of our uh, goods. And I did a mock-up of different uh, antique type goods. You can see that was a little extravagant with uh, a Model T and Cezanne painting and then some coins and uh, the prize, uh, the Honus T. Wagner card uh, at $3.2 million, which would be nice to have. Uh, but then you can click on the shop page and this is where it gets interesting. This is how you would uh, purchase the item and set up your marketplace where they do have shipping or in description and where you would put in your uh, your Stripe uh, payment method, although you have to upgrade to be able to put in this uh, payment method, so I didn't end up upgrading. Next, we have the uh, contacts uh, where I have the form where a pr prospective customer could contact the business. And then I added a map link to our store, and then I graphically put in a uh, demographic of our store, the uh, business address and the times and phone number and email contact. And I did that by uh, making it and then creating a JPEG and then putting it in. It worked much easier than making it as a document. And then the last but not least is what I did was I had a link to uh, another website uh, that is uh, antique related. Uh, in my business, I would probably have a list of links that might be applicable to antiquing. Uh, this one just shows that uh, I could add certain web pages to my web page and then link over to that page. So that's essentially the summary of my website. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I enjoyed actually doing it. So uh, thanks for looking, and uh, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you.